Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today what we're going to be doing is the serial installation on your laptop or PC. Uh, just to get it set up for those who want to do astrophotography and it's on serial. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get get into it right now. We're going to scroll down to, we're going to go to serial.org as you can see here. We're going to click on serial 1.2.0 beta 2. First thing we have to do is we click on Windows. We're going to click on 64-bit Windows and not Windows Store. If you down, try to download the Serials program from the Windows Store, it is actually not going to work. Uh, the file is not going to download the beta version 1.2.0, which actually has the newest features that you're going to need for future Ash Photography prog uh, projects and for the tutorials uh, that I've actually provided already on the YouTube channel at uh, SC Astrophotography. Okay, so it's scanning now. What we're going to do is we're going to click the minimize button. We're going to go to files. As you can see, the download is right here. Uh, we're going to click on that. You want to allow the file to pass. A lot of Windows computers will actually not allow it to go through just because it is a weird uh, outside source file. So after you have it approved, you're going to go to select setup language. Just click English or whatever language that it is that you speak and click OK. Accept the agreement. No need to read all of that. Yes, we want to uh, have it set up into that folder. Next. Desktop sh shortcut. Yes. Next. Install. As you can see, it's going to install all of the files into Serial. Exactly what we need it to do. This part might actually just take a minute, but that is okay. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so we have Serial officially installed. We're going to click on Launch Serial and click on Finish. And this should be able to open up the Serial program. Very nice. First thing we want to do is we want to check the scripts. As you see here, not all of the scripts that you're going to need are on the program already. So what we're going to want to do is actually we're going to open up Google again. And we're going to go and just type into the search bar serial script. Very nice. We're going to go on to free astro, the first link that shows up. And we're going to download the scripts that are available here. The uh, model processing without flat, model processing without dark, all, all of these ones. Uh, the one that we're going to be using the most is without DBF, which is uh, it processes your image, your light image without the dark files, bias, or flats. If you want to use those, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to, uh, instead of clicking on without dark bias or flat, you're going to click on without the flat files. And that is going to uh, merge your darks and your lights together it's like it's going to let you use your darks but most of the time I'm actually not going to be using darks when I'm doing my image so what you're gonna do is you're gonna download all of these ones here very nice we're going to minimize that back to our serial program Actually, we're going to go to files, go to our downloads, and you see all of the files here that you're going to need. We're going to just copy that. And we're going to go to our PC programs, click on program files, and scroll down to serial. And we're going to go to our scripts, and we're just going to paste this into the program. Okay, all the files have been successfully pasted into the serial folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize it again and go back to serial 1.2.0. If you click on scripts, you will see that none of the files are actually there yet. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our preferences. And we are going to our script location. As you can see, the directory is already here for serial scripts. We're just going to refresh the button. And we're going to click on apply. And as you will see, now all of your scripts will be here. Uh, again, the one that we're going to use the most is the without darks, bias, or flats. But if you are, if you do want to use the dark files without bias or flats, 
you, all you have to do is click on the OSD preprocessing without the flat, but most of the time I'm not going to be using the BIOS or flats or dark files. I, I personally don't see the need for them, uh, not to use for them if I have enough um, light files or just using the Dwarf 2 telescope, I don't have that issue. Uh, another thing that you need to take care of is you have to go to preferences, go to fit slash sir the bear. Uh, the bare information is very important. It will actually just mess up all the coloration of your photos if you have this put set up wrong. Uh, usually it will get this right. A bare information files files header if available. Usually the one I use is GPRG. That is what the Dwarf 2 telescope actually uses. Uh, other telescopes may use other ones like your digital camera you use GBRG or GRBG, BGGR, all these different uh, settings, but the Dwarf 2 Telescope uses GBRG if you're going to use that, and usually it will be able to do this automatically with the bare information from files header. Um, so we're going to click apply on that. Now in order for you to actually set uh, serial as what you're going to want, uh, where you're going to get the files from, you have to click and make a new folder, we're just going to make another sample, I already have one, uh, we're just going to rename this one real quick, just type in zero. Yeah, it's very nice. We're gonna click on and we're gonna make a new file. Uh, just whatever thing you're gonna make. We're just gonna type in M101 as a reference to the other video that I made. We're gonna open that up and you're actually gonna have to make new, uh, new four new folders. It's light. Oops, I apologize, spelled that wrong. We just rename that. Light. Bias. and flat. So once you're actually done with this, you're just going to take any files you have and copy it into the corresponding folder like lights or darks. And then you're just going to go to serial and click on home. And that is going to set the directory for your photos as that folder, which is very important if you're actually going to try to stack. So you just click on that and then you click on open. And that will set your directory for uh, M101 as your serial folder. And then you can go ahead and run whatever script you want. I actually did a full tutorial on how to do all of this uh, for how to process the M101 Galaxy using serial without the darks or uh, bias or flat. If you want, you can go check that out. I hope this helped you guys to actually set up your serial program correctly. Um, hopefully it was able to help you out a little bit in how to actually set up the program. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for further videos. Um, in the future, if you guys have any ideas for videos that you would like me to do, other tutorials, please just let me know um, in the comments or you can direct message me on Facebook or Instagram. I will have both of those links in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching again. Please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and I hope you guys have clear skies soon.